After a full weekend of eating pizza, chips and chocolate, it is time to eat healthy again. So today's Monday and I want to show you everything that I eat in a day and how I stay healthy during this pretty awful time right now because let's be honest we've all been not on track with eating healthy and we're gonna start with breakfast and what I make for breakfast is oatmeal because I eat oats every single day how I make my oats I just take a bowl <laughs> like everyone else I make them with water not with milk because I load them up with cinnamon anyway so saves money because milk is pretty expensive I mean uh, almond milk is pretty expensive. I pop them in a the microwave because I'm too lazy to cook them on the stove and I have less dishes. It takes two minutes. Then I just put a bunch, like I load my oats with cinnamon, okay? It looks pretty disgusting, but I, I love it. <laughs> and then on top, I just put some chia seeds, some walnuts, some almonds, and then I put in my favorite fruit at the moment. Right now I'm eating frozen strawberries because we don't have any fresh ones right now. And I really like the frozen strawberries because they have like this juice when you warm them up in the microwave. Don't be afraid of frozen fruits because they are just as healthy because they have been frozen fresh. And it is usually way cheaper and you don't have to worry about it going bad. And then I just top it off with some agave syrup because that's my personal favorite sweetener. I think it tastes way better than honey. That's my breakfast pretty much every day. It's pretty simple and that's what I need because I don't have time to cook a breakfast. Doesn't it look that aesthetically pleasing? I know, um, but it tastes good and that's what's important. <laughs> and I'm just having my breakfast with my ginger tea to not get sick because it is still very cold where I live. Most exciting time, time to make some coffee. I'm actually using rice milk today. I usually prefer almond milk, but whatever. And I'm gonna froth up my milk like with this thing here in our coffee machine. I'm still drinking hot coffee because because where I live, it is freezing cold. Oh, I didn't shake it. Ah, whatever. Okay, I just realized that I had to do the foam first and then the coffee. Okay, now that I have my coffee, it is time to get some work done. I'm gonna study for a little bit and then see you later. Okay, I'm about to work out now, if you can tell from my workout clothes. And I just quickly want to show you what I eat before I work out or what I gen... Or what I gen... 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 Generally? 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 I don't know, have before working out. I have all of my supplements from Women's Best. This is not sponsored, obviously. I bought it with my own money. I just love their products. They taste amazing and it is affordable. And the packaging is pink. What do you want more? So I'm using their whey protein. I'm currently using vanilla, but I prefer the cookies and cream, actually. I'm having the BCAA and the anti-pre-workout. I change flavors all the time. And what I eat is I'll always... I always have a banana and then when I'm extra hungry, which today I'm not, but I want to show you for the purpose of this video. I eat this bread type, you can also do rice waffles and if I'm even more hungry, I'm also gonna add peanut butter, but today I'm just having jam because like I said, I'm not really hungry. And then I'm just sipping on my pre-workout for a workout, obviously. I have my BCA prepped for when I work out. I know this seems a lot and very extra, but that's what I like to do. And then after my workout, I already have measured my protein powder and then I just add water. Oh, and I obviously put my hair back. Like, who trains with open hair? I don't. And then I'm gonna see you after my workout when it is finally time for lunch. Okay, I'm done with my workout. That's why I look a little bit rough. We're gonna make like my favorite thing ever, which is a tofu rice bowl. So what we're gonna start off is by cooking our rice. I'm taking jasmine rice. This is my favorite and I'm making a whole cup because I make it for the entire Week. I'm gonna make it with some kidney beans and some corn. I'm just gonna rinse this and then put it in my plate later on. So very important is some tofu. I prefer the smoke. Smoke? Is it called smoke? And if you want tofu to even taste better than smoked tofu, put nutritional yeast inside. This is like the 
best thing you will ever eat. If you're wondering why I have so orange hands, because I fake tanned yesterday and even after five years of fake tanning, I haven't figured out how to do my hands in a way that they don't look ridiculous the first two to three days. Next, we're gonna cut the iceberg lettuce. Last thing we're gonna make is some sour cream. If you're from the US, feel free to buy store-bought sour cream. But where I live, we don't really have sour cream. We only have like these weird burger sauces that are full of sugar and fat. So I'm gonna make my own. If you're from the US, you don't have these things. I think these products you only have in Austria and Germany. I don't know. Then we're gonna need like a squeeze of lemon juice. I don't have any fresh lemons. Two teaspoons of white vinegar. White wine vinegar. White wine vinegar. Salt and pepper. You can do fresh garlic, but I'm just gonna use garlic powder. One teaspoon of sugar so that the vinegar doesn't taste weird. And then I'm just gonna add some herbs. Herbs. <laughs> This is just a mix of herbs that is frozen. And now we're gonna mix it. You know what I never understand? When people are like, I forgot to eat. How do you forget to eat? Literally all I think about is food. And I would be starving if I didn't eat like regular meals. If you're a person who forgets to eat, leave me a comment. How do you do that? Uh, I'm starving after a few hours. And don't be afraid of food because food is fuel. You have to eat in order to not be tired. And now we're gonna load up our bowl. I'm weighing the rice and the tofu because then I know I'm not overeating. Personally, for me, it's easier. I'm gonna start off with the rice, then the tofu, kidney beans, corn, then a bunch of iceberg lettuce because I like the crunch of it. Adding my vegetables. And then I'm just adding um, a lot of sour cream. And then it kind of looks like this, but I think it looks even better if you mix it. Like all mixed up like this. If you want to make sure to eat healthy consistently, you need quick and easy meals. Or at least I do that because I don't have time to cook for hours. And the second thing is meal prepping. As you could see, I cooked way that I'm eating right now. And the reason is because I meal prep for the week. I don't mind eating the same thing over and over again. Just, just eat thought of having to think what I want to eat each day, like for lunch and dinner, that is way too much for me. If you cook every single day, I am convinced you're setting yourself up for failure because you don't want to cook every day and then you will go back to your unhealthy stuff. I mean, I eat whatever I want, but I try to eat more healthy during the week and then, you know, not so much on the weekends. <laughs> Okay, time to make dinner. I know I look rough. If you hear any background noises, I have the dryer on, if you're wondering. So, what we're gonna make for dinner is taco, taco stuffed sweet potatoes. This is a recipe I found online, so I'm gonna link it in the description box. We're obviously gonna need a sweet potato, and I'm just gonna show you, like, <laughs> this was option number one, and this was option number two. They didn't have anything in between, and this is huge. Like, look at that. Okay. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna take this huge potato because I feel like it's better to stuff. I'm just gonna make a few holes with the knife and I already preheated my oven. Don't stab yourself. Don't do it like that. <laughs> Put it on the ground. Next we're gonna make the minced beef. You can obviously also use turkey or whatever you want. I just use beef. We're gonna roast the beef with an onion and two cloves of garlic. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to properly cut an onion very easy. When I see other people cut onions, like this is not my good side, why did I decide to film like that? When I see other people cut onions, I always, <laughs> uh, I'm always like, no, it's <laughs> so much work. So I'm just gonna peel the onion, cut it in half. You wanna face the root away from you like this is what you want to see, and this should be on the other side. You're just gonna cut lines. The more narrow the lines are, the finer your cubes are gonna be. And don't cut fully through, only cut like, like leave a little bit on the end. And then you turn it, and you have very fine cubes. <laughs> this is how to properly cut an onion, and not any other way. And then when you have the end part, cut it in half. And like so. I'm gonna put that in a huge 
pan. In the meantime, I have this taco seasoning. You can take any taco seasoning that you have and on the back side it says in how much water you have to put it. You can just put it in a pan. It, it doesn't really make a difference, but we're gonna do it the proper way. <laughs> And once you feel like the onion is yellowish, I'm gonna add the beef. Already peeled my garlic, just pressing it in with my lovely garlic press. If you're vegan or vegetarian, you can totally do this with lentils. And while this is cooking, we're gonna make our like topping. Um, so we're gonna top it off with some avocado and some tomatoes. And also with some sour cream, but we already made it for lunch, so I'm just gonna use the sour cream and some mozzarella cheese. You can also make guacamole with it, but I'm too lazy, so I'm just gonna season it and call it a day. I'm just gonna cut a few baby tomatoes. Can you see that? Yes. I just added some onion and I'm just gonna put salt, pepper and white wine vinegar in it. Feel free to use lime juice or lemon juice. Okay, I'm out of the shower. Um, if you're wondering, my boyfriend is cooking in the corner, that's why it's so loud. I'm gonna take my sweet potato out of the oven and cut it. I filled them with the minced beef and put some mozzarella cheese on top and I'm gonna put them in the oven once again just to heat everything up. Then I just topped it up with the avocado, the sour cream from lunch, some salsa and here I just have the filling from the sweet potato and the tomatoes. This is quite a lot of food but the sweet potato was way too big for this. <laughs> and that's dinner! I'm sorry if my glasses reflect, but I need a studio light because otherwise it is super dark. The last meal for today is my dessert, like what I eat after dinner, and I pretty much always eat the same, which is this thing here. It is like Greek yogurt. I'm just gonna have frozen berries with it, like these are blue and raspberries, obviously. By the way, dinner was really good. I just wouldn't put sour cream on it again. I think with the avocado, the cheese, and the salsa, it's enough. Like, you don't really need the sour cream. It was a lot of food. I was struggling, but I ate it because you're aware that what I eat may be too much for you or too little food. Don't compare yourself to what other people eat on the internet. Everyone's body is different and we all have different needs. Heat them up in a microwave and then just... And I'm putting agave syrup on top because I just love agave and it makes it a little bit sweeter. And then I just top it off with this bread that I showed you earlier and I just... Crack it in a bowl, like so. You can totally use granola. And that is what I pretty much eat every day for a dessert. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more. Please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.